Hello, everybody. It's I, the Luigi Big Mac, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Last time, we finally found the person who pretty much killed Maya. Or, not Maya, Mia. And then, now he's accusing us of, uh, of being the murderer. So, uh, we have to go through this bullshit. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah, one way or, or another, this case gets decided today. Ah, Phoenix, look! You... Prosecutor Edgeworth, I received a call from Chief Prosecutor's office yesterday. I was told that whatever White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What What does White... What, what, does White have the judge in his pocket too? So, you're saying that I'm going to be guilty and a story? I'll do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright, anything. But why, why, how do you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie, to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who's guilty and who's innocent. All I can hope to do is get every def is to get every defendant declared guilty. So I make that my policy. Edgeworth, you've changed. Hmm? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix, right? For Phoenix, the well, court will be starting soon. What? But wait! Your defense attorney isn't even here yet. They're not. I'll be defending myself. What? Normally that wouldn't fly in a... In a actually, actually, no. That, actually, no. You can actually represent yourself. Uh, it's usually it's usually a very shitty idea. But, I mean, the option's there. Okay, let's do this. Alrighty. Bring it on. Court, bleh. I don't remember what I did for the judge's court. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I'll be defending myself. Understood. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, today we will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may... McCall's witness. That went too smoothly. A bit too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edward, Edward's why his witness didn't testify before? It's like he already, he already knows why. Hmm. If anyone's going to raise objections about me, it's me. So, do I actually... Do I raise an objection? I'll just let it go. Forget it. I smell a trap. I'd like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. Please, please state your full name. You wish, you wish to know the title of my personage? Oh, uh, yeah, I already hate this guy. Well, I, I already hated this guy the first time I saw him, but... He, but doing that just makes me want to punch him in the face even more. Er, your name. Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear. Do my locu uh, locutions confuse? Name. These, these two are great together. My name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. I am the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. Did you know the victim was Mia Faye? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. You were at the Great Water Hotel the night of the murder. Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there. Ahem. Why tell you what I what you already know? Very well. V very well, Mr. Wright. Mr. W I o I said right instead of white. God damn it. Uh, very well, Mr. R Mr. White. You may begin your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing. Oh ho. Oh ho ho. I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Let him have it, Phoenix. Let's see. It was about 9 o'clock, I believe. That was quietly per per er, 
that's reading to you, some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned and looked at the building across the way. Then, it was, then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She too was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she, she ran away, but he gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Hmm. If things occurred as you testified, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well. Defendant, er, I mean, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination? Yes, Your Honor. Alright, just looking at his testimony. Uh, nothing to press here. Uh, let's press this. By, by window, you mean the one directly across from Fanko's law, law offices? Correct! That is the only window you see. And there, and there you're reading papers? Correct! Thinking Water is a businessman's hotel, and I'm a busy man who had, who had business to do. Alright, that makes sense. Then I heard Bedlam coming from outside. Yep, nothing to press there. Call this way. Yep. Uh, I can probably press here. Can you be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course! Compre uh, compriende. I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? As you know, I am always up ab so positively perfect. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. The, okay, so the victim ran to the left. Uh, let's see. This May's testimony. Wait! The victim dodged an attack, then ran to the right, but she was called and struck. Way right there, Mr. White. You've dug your you dug your own grave. What is what is this? You said the victim ran to the left, but that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran right. Oh ho ho! It is simple. You may you you have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here. The victim. And the victim here. I forgot. I forgot to turn off. Uh, I forgot to put on "Do Not Disturb." There, there we go. There we go. That solves my problem. Anyways, if the victim ran to the left as he claimed she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running to into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? <laughs> Very strange. I did see her run to the lift. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. It's true. Maybe he really did see the victim run left. So he did witness the killing. Wait a second. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? Miss May says, right. Er, or sorry. Miss May says, right. And Mr. White says, left. Can you explain this contradiction to, go to the court? Both are right. Both witnesses are telling the truth. For once. Ha! I doubt it. Or rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There's one scenario that would explain their conflicting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean he was not viewing the crime from the hotel? If he was not in the, in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law offices of Fay and Co., of course. More specifically, he was standing here. Time to show the car where Mr. Wright was standing. Right there. This is where he was. Look. The victim ran for the door. If he was watching from this point, he it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for, for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing. 
Order! I will have order! Anyone disturbing the order of this court will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? Re 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 rep Skellion! The, the, post, the, the postulations of this defense are dis, are distortions of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, they seem they seem to be a bit far-fetched. Oh, ho, 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 ho! You provide us with much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing? The, the hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear for this. I apologize. Your Honor, Mr. Honor, might I be allowed to testify once more? Very well, let's hear your revised testimony. Good luck, you can't fix your broken testimony, buddy. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left. And then you hit her, savagely. That's what I saw. And then, with the last of her strength, she, she ran to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. And that is what Miss May saw. You see? You hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? Hmm, that does seem to make sense. Will you be cross-examining the witness testimony? You bet I will. I mean, yes, Your Honor. Alright, I, I, I already know there's a clear con contradiction here. It's, uh... Present. Then, Mister, Mister, Mister White, the victim died from a single blow. What do you have to say to that? Now's my chance to hit him where it counts. Mister White, wasn't it you who told this court you were absolutely abs positively perfect? Mm. I, I, I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Your your honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony. The witness is obviously confused, your honor. I would like to request a 10-minute break. Yes, yes, quite. The witness is confused because he's because he's lying. I empath I emphatically request that there be no break, Your Honor. Yeah, we want justice! Don't let him get away! Very well. If the witness would care to revise his testimony, the crowd's on my side. No slipping out of this one now, White. Mr. White? Oh, uh, okay. Um, well, see, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. Then the next moment, I saw Miss Mia run to the left. The killer, you attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then she turned and ran for the door. Then you did. Then you did her in with that with a single blow. Thwap. Hmm. The wap indeed. Very well. You may begin the cross examination. Mister Your Honor, my stomach. You see, it is hurting. Deal with it. This is almost over. Hey, ready. That was... That thing fall. What thing? You heard that thing fall. What exactly was that thing? Huh? Oh! That, uh... Oh, that, um, the glass light stand. Right, that one that, that had fallen over at the scene. Phoenix, doesn't something strike you as odd? Yeah, very odd. Yeah, that is all. I'll press further. Mr. White. Huh? What? 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 You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Y yes. Then change your testimony and reflect that. Uh, sorry. My bad. The, wit the witness the witness will revise his testimony. Okay, okay, of course. A light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. Alrighty then. Uh Well here's the thing. How could he have told how would he have known that it was a it was a uh, light stand? 
Mr. White! It was impossible for you to have seen the, the light stand. What? what The stand broke into pieces where it fell. <laughs> just by just by seeing the broken pieces, you would have no idea it was a light stand. So tell me, exactly when was it you saw that stand? Answer the question. It, isn't it obvious? I saw the stand uh, before it fell over. So you saw the stand before the victim was attacked then? C correct! That would be no problem, right? Hmm. Big problemo. There's a big problemo, or, uh, I mean, problem here. What What problem is this? Mr. White, let me make sure I have this straight. You saw the glass light stand through the window from the hotel before the incident occurred? Correct! That is so. It's conclusive, definitive, undeniable, unimpeachable. No, it, it, it's impossible. You couldn't have seen that stand. What? Why couldn't he have proof? Or sorry, I, I, that ah, whatever. I sure do, Your Honor. A person in the hotel room couldn't have seen the stand before, before it fell over. Uh, we have to, to pre present the, the floor plans. Look at this. These are the floor plans. Floor plans to the scene of the murder. Yes. Correct, Your Honor. Now look. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you'll be able to see. Here. Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White, what do you have to say to that? <laughs> right, ridiculousity. Mr. White, if you were in the Gatewater Hotel as he claimed, you couldn't you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as as a glass light stand. So when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. And the only place you could have seen that was with... Uh, see that from is inside the Fay Law offices. In other words, you are at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Mr. Mr. White? Mr. White, you did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor, I, I, Miss Mia. <laughs> Looks like we're about to get over. That's far enough, Phoenix Wright. What? what? Ah, I forgot about Edgeworth. Mr. White, I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now, hmm? R what? What? I said you should confess your crime. Ergo, confess that you placed the wiretap. The the wiretap? God damn it, Phoenix! Order, order, Mr. Edgeworth. Explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court, Mr. White is slightly confused. Let me explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Miss. Faye. What does have to do, Your Honor? The question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office and by who? <laughs> no, you wouldn't, Mr. White. In order to place the wiretap, you enter Miss Faye's office. Am I correct? C correct! You are most correct, Miles. Give me a break! Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Fango off offices. That's when I saw that cursed light stand. No, I'm confused. Please. Bleh. No, no, I'm confused. Please. Oh my god, I, I lost my voice. God damn it. No, no, I'm confused. Please explain to the court what all this means, Mr. Edgeworth. Gl gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. He has determined that, that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He has shown there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand. At the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. White would like you to believe that Mr. White was a murderer. I see. However, it is a fact that Mr. White had been to that office well before the murder took place. 
when he went to the place when he went to place the water tap. He could have seen the light glass light stand then. Ergo, Fe Mr. Phoenix Wright's theory is revealed th for the baseless conjecture. It is. Mr. W Mr. White, you will testify to the court about this wiretapping. Ahem. Ahem. Leave it to me. I, I feel faint. I had to enter the fake cone off. Says, of course, I had done so to place a wiretap. That is when I saw this glass stand. Hmm. So you saw the the stand before the night of the, of the incident. This is this is how you were able to identify that what had fallen over by the sound. Correct. That is right. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine. Gah. What do I? What am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. All right, ugh, I can't press that, can't press that, can't press that. Damn, damn it, there's nothing for me to press on him. Oh well, maybe he's right old enough, I can bluff something out of him. All right. Do you have proof? Miss April May knew the, Miss April May knew the details of Faye's Faye phone conversations. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Huh, right. I entered the bank. Hold it. Was it really you that went into the office, or was it Miss May? I identified fingerprints several days were found in the Fanko law offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. And if I know Edgeworth, he's already run and checked on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the Fanko law offices. Of course, I had done to place a wiretap. Why did you tap me his phone? This has no bearing on your current case, Your Honor. Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. We have a, we have a responsibility to protect client confident, confident. You, you know, you know what that word is. Why did you notice something as innocu innocuous uh, as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such a beautious thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. Damn it. There's nothing there for me to press on him. Oh, well, maybe he's brown enough. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Don't tell me I've ran out of ammo. Just this. I'm afraid that that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. The time has come for to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Mr. Wright, are you giving up? Yes, Your Honor. Phoenix, huh? Phoenix, over here. I know that voice. But Mia? Never go, Phoenix. But Mia? What, where am I? At the waiting lobby. What happened? Oh, right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Ah! Ah, you're finally awake. Gah! Hey! Phoenix! Gah! That's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Dear, dear, dear lord! Y you're... Maya? Did you... Didn't you know that the Fey women have, have strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appeared that that was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true power. So, Maya's channeling you, Mia. That's right, I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's why I came here to tell you. But, we don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen, you've already won. Huh? You have to have receipt in the court record, right? Um, oh, yeah, the one that you wrote Maya on it. Phoenix, White wrote that, not me. So, what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front? Looks like it's from the uh, famous apartment store. $1,000, wow, big spender. Item, glass light stand. Date of purchase, September 4th. September 4th? That's right, Phoenix. I bought that the day before I was killed. Whoa, 
Now, what did you... Now, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. He said he saw the stand the week before the murder. There you go. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. Now you have to just prove it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in court. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. It's the defendant, rather. Are you all right, Mr. Wright? Yes, sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then let's start off where we left off. Y Your Honor, there is nothing to go back to. The cross-examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now is you pass the judgment on defendant Phoenix Wright. Hmm. Your Honor, please, give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. But as Mr. Edwards has noted, the trial is... More or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on the matter? I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Edgeworth, my friend, you have... You have failed in my trap. It'll, yep, so beginning of September, week before the murder. Present. Look, look closely at this. See the word my written in blood? What? <laughs> you're, gra you're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The other side? Your Honor, would you tell the court what is written on the other side of that receipt? Hmm. Well, a glass light stand. And the date of purchase? Why, that's the day before the murder. You see... Mr. White, when you allegedly entered Fanco offices at the beginning of September, the stand could have not been there. <laughs> well, Mr. Wright, can't can't get you out of this one, can you? No, it's impos it's it's impossible. Uh oh, he's losing it. Well, Your Honor, I understand there there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree that you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Very well. Then that is all for the trial of. Objection! God damn it, Edgeworth! Not so fast, Phoenix Wright. Eh. What? No way he could have wormed his way out of this one. Oh, wait. I forgot. It's Edgeworth. There's a certain thread of logic to the defense claim. However, there's no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. Ergo, I would like to request one more one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more in in inquiry into this matter. Hmm, another inquiry? This isn't going to be in one of those updated autopsy reports. Th this guy just make up, makes up evidence as he please. This is bad. Object. Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There's no need to prolong this trial any further. Hmm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth... If anyone's going to call Mr. White to trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a day to, to ascertain whether these new claims have any basis in factual evidence. Hmm. I see. Objection denied. What? No. There's no telling what would happen if, I, if this ends now. Edgeworth is sure to come up with or just make up something. And after Mia showed up to help me and all. <laughs> Stop shining your stupid little rings at me. Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course. Thank you, your... Thank you, thank you for your time. Gah! The witness will stay. But Mia... Phoenix, read this note out loud. Mia, what's this? Memo received from Mia. Your Honor, if I may... You're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. You bet I am. You bet I am. My life's riding on this one. I have something I would like to read in court. Ms. Memo. The memo Mia had given me had a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. So, so stop! Desist! Halt! But please stop! Make him stop! Oh! How did you get that list? Mr. White. 
admit your guilt right here, right now. Or else this list will be released to the press. I, I confess. I confess. I did it. I hit her. I hit Miss Mia with the thinker. Case closed, Your Honor. Well, I see no reason to continue this trial, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. You've done it again! That was quite a spirited defense. Yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirited it was. Hmm. Well, this court finds the defense. Ahem. Or rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Not guilty. All right. That is all. This court is adjourned. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again, but congratulations, you're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky I had both you and Mai on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me and Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. As long as you live? My time here is running out. Huh? Maya's power is still weak. I can't stay here that long. What? what? No! There's so much... There's still so much to say. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll meet again. The chief! <laughs> I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix, can you come to the office tonight, say, 9 o'clock? The office? I'll see you later. Chief! Mia! Why well, does it feel like that one fucking, like, meme of, of like, was it Black Cat, like, disappearing Spider-Man going, No! As he's trying, like, I'll, I'll probably, I'll probably put the, I'll probably put the, uh, the, the GIF, the, the GIF up, uh, in, like, it'll probably, it should pop up right here. Yeah, that one, yeah. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> Why do I feel like Phoenix is, Phoenix is doing that? Being here is hard not to think about that night. You came, Mia? I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course they came. Well then, I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? But Mia? <laughs> you should have seen your face. Mia? What are you talking about? It's me, Maya! M Maya? What? Did I look like my sister? You look like you were her. Hmm, I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Uh, Maya, why are you here? here? Because of this. See, Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of... Huh? She means the office. This office. Someone has to help with the new writing code law offices, right? And who better but me? Maya Fay, reporting for duty. Wait, no. On second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick! Maya here, ready to get down to business. You don't mind me calling you Nick, don't you? It's a great name. Mia said that's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick? You know what this means. We're partners. You know, when I think about it, it's, it's, it is Maya's fault I'm here now. But if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Running Co. Lolves is, it's got a good ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. Oh! Good luck, Phoenix. I'll, I'll always be here, watching. R right, okay, Nick, let's do it. Huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy! Burgers! There's a great burger joint down, just down the street. Come on, time's a wasting. Uh, uh, okay, wait up. And with that, a brand new episode is added. And out, and that's the end of today's episode. God, I have to come today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the content that I do. Uh, if you could, if you like, if you like the content I do, please consider subscribing, as I really uh, appreciate, it. especially if you like this episode, because you know I don't do like, like I don't do like, like basically I do a whole bunch of variety. So if you just like. Uh, me talk talking out my ass for commentary then hey more power to you folks uh but yeah be sure to subscribe it'll help the channel grow and everything uh be sure to also uh leave a leave a comment and like 
and like the video so uh, YouTube can push, so my video can be pushed on YouTube's uh, crappy al algorithm because that's how it works uh, nowadays. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're going to be starting uh, the next case. Turn about Samurai. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.